Hi, welcome into this Fountain Business Loan Review. My name is Michael with Viral Funding Solutions. And today I will be showing you what this lending platform is all about, how they work, are they legitimate, the pros and cons, alternatives, and so much more so you can finally power yourself forward. Now, let me answer that question that's on your mind on are they legit? Now, I can't say specifically with 100% certainty that they are or not. Reason being is there's very limited information of them online, and I've recently stumbled upon them. And as you know, if you've been watching me for some time, I really a lot of the time know whether there's a very legitimate company or uh, no, it's more of a scam. They're just trying to get you in somehow, do something else and send you somewhere else. Uh, and there's not a lot of indication on the web yet, or there's nowhere else as I've been able to get guidance from my own sources that I have. Um, as well as myself digging in a lot deeper because it's just not enough information out there. But at the same time, I wouldn't recommend that because uh, that company, because it's just, it almost is a little shady on that end. And it's like, there's not enough and it's just unsure of. And they also uh, switch you to another entity, which we'll be seeing here in just a second. But the homepage here, it also doesn't even guide you and shows you who is found business loan anyway? It's like, why should I believe you? And that makes me think a lot of things and a lot of red flags. You know, if it just takes me to a, a login page and it doesn't even show me how I can sign up or what do I go to get started? How does this work? Like that alone right now just brings up a lot of flags. And if that's not enough, you know, there's a button up here for get started today. And let me show you how that looks like. So this will take you to Lending Family Tree, which again, doesn't have a whole lot of information out there, but we do know here that they go from home, personal business and contact. So if you're looking for any of these types of services for personal and business, you can go through those. Um, I specifically help a lot of people getting personal loans, per, but personal loans for business a lot of the times and business funding, cash advances, business loans, SBAs, non-SBA related private lenders, et cetera. And if you're looking for that type of funding, then look down below in the description. I'll leave more information for you, as well as this business loan form that you can fill out and you'll get a free customized and personalized email response for your best funding option and options. Plus you'll get a free six-step pre-approval lending checklist to get you approved for funding much faster. I'm going to refresh this here because I did move a little bit of things around so you can see it's the best way possible. So literally you can fill this out and it will be done in less than 30 seconds, but it'll look like that more or less and as well as other funding alternatives that I recommend outside of lending family tree. Okay, so right here, we can select any of these options. So I'm gonna just start with business and it brings up a similar page to what we already saw. So on the left-hand side, you see apply for a loan and then the steps here. So you'd put in loan information, which we see there, identity, yourself, which is the personal side and then the financials. How much do you need from 1,000 to 35,000? You can enter that amount. So let's say maybe 10,000. How are you planning to use this loan? Debt consolidation, you pay off your credit cards, home improvement, home buying, major purchase, car refinancing, business, vacation, wedding expenses, moving and relocation, medical expenses, car repair, everyday bills. And then you have other. And then over here, you have the repayment. Let's just put over here business. Repayment term, how many months do you need to pay back the loan amount? And I get that they have that here and they give you an option, but don't think that just because you put, I want a 36 month, you're always going to get it. It doesn't always work like that in personal and business funding. And I, I've done this so long. I've been able to get funding for my own businesses with private lenders, non-private lenders, building business credit, credit cards, all that, you name it. And I always see people price shopping for the lowest interest for the longest terms. You shouldn't be doing that, especially in today's economy, if we're going to be hitting this impending recession and uh, who knows about six months to a year or so, how hard it's going to hit. You have to understand this. It's better to get a longer term and understand your repayment than it is to just look at the interest. If you get interest rates of 30%, 15%, if you don't offer collateral with business funding, you probably can't get anything underneath 15% in a lot of cases. Uh, so what it comes down to is the term, yes, but more importantly, even if you don't get a long enough of a term, it's your ability to repay back the loan, the advance. So your repayment, what are you paying back daily? What are you paying back weekly, month by week? What does it look like month? What would it look like in four months, five months, in a year, whatever you get. So think about being more strategic as opposed to, well, I'm just going to go price shop. If I got 8% here, 
if I can get 8% here, but I got 50% there, that would be much more of a difference. But the reason we're giving you what we're giving you is a lot of the times is we probably shopped around and found the best offer for you with soft pulls, no hard credit pulls, no misleading information, giving you information there and it just doesn't work right. We're finding you the best offer. And sometimes it's a direct lender with one person, but in a lot of cases, that's not the best way to go. So annual income. So we'll just say here 12 months, annual income. Just give it a round number, 200,000. Personal information is where we get into this. We need this information to verify your identity, first name, last name, address, phone number, date of birth, social security number. If you don't have a social security number, you can still apply for a loan. So it's not like you always have to add that. Create an account. You can see there I have read and agreed to the privacy policy and so forth. Let's do this. So we're going to guide you to, actually, I'll leave it as it is. I have read to and agreed to privacy policy, electronic communications, terms of service, and credit reporting policy, credit to full authorization. So that's where I would be careful. You're, you're green for credit reporting policy, credit pool authorization already immediately from the beginning. You know, a lot of these other services that are giving you personal and business loans, they don't necessarily ask for that in a lot of cases. So you just have to be protective of it. And like I said, again, I'm not saying they are a complete scam or that they even are one. It's just hard to detect a lot of these things. Um, and just expect like any other type of funding service, you'll be continuously getting you know, email, they probably get calls, probably text messages, you requested this information, just trying to check in with you and, and so forth. But you can see how all of that works right there. No annual income and so forth. So that is a quick review on lending family tree. Um, and even if you typed in, and I find more resources, not just by typing in on Google and finding out complaints. There's a lot of other sources that I have connections with where I can understand it's not only for this company, but for a lot of other ones. Um, and I also know it too, because I've, I can go through them myself and fully understand the platform. And that's what I do a lot of the times before I even push out these reviews. And so, you know, 100% what you're getting into. So lending family tree, we'll click there. See, this brings you now to this page, which is the actual homepage. So what I showed you before was we went from one platform over to another one. So it looks like somebody's bridging to get you to somewhere else. And this is the actual homepage. So get your agency loans, credit products without a bank sponsor, offer a compliant credit product in weeks, not months, personal, you could do business there as we saw earlier. And loans for immigrants, no co-signer required, no prepayment fees, checking for rate won't impact the credit score. Build your credit score, get started, build your credit score again, get a loan in four easy steps, answer a few questions, two, shop and compare, three, maybe the best loan win for, withdraw your funds. We believe you are more than a number. We look at all the indications of financial responsibility and a bit of that. So click there, you can see the page that it brings us to, which looks familiar. And connect with us with information there to learn more about them. If you click, but the thing is here, when we clicked on this follow us, it doesn't take us anywhere. So it could be that they just haven't set it up yet or they just forgot about it. Or a lot of the times what I see with companies like that is, I'm not saying they're doing it, but they like to hide things. So people will probably respond and review on a Facebook page they don't want seen, or they've just changed pages or they're changing identities uh, and so forth. But again, I'm not saying directly to them. It's just, you have to be careful about who you run into and uh, protecting your information at all costs. So again, we did this. I can see a little bit more. There's family tree loan, not lending family tree. And if you were to type in use there, it's only lending trees, so nothing on lending family trees, pretty much. We didn't put complaints. Just goes back to lending tree. So it could be an intermediary with lending tree. But again, there's a lot of unknowns. And I, for cer certainty, do not want to be in the unknown. Uh, and a lot of companies end up doing that. They end up moving you to another place and then another one. So just be careful what you're getting yourself into. I personally wouldn't recommend that for myself and a lot of business owners, personal business, personal and business. Um, but take it with a grain of salt. And if you're looking for an alternative, 
for getting up to two million incredibly fast funding, up to 25,000, 35,000 business funding and hassle free, no collateral, bad credit is acceptable then I'll leave information for you down below in the description, as well as this form for you to fill out. And I'll also give you personal loan options that you can use for business and in other ways as well. So if you're on that side of the equation, great. I'll show you what the best ones are out there. Uh, so that will conclude everything in this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please voice them for me down below in the comment section. And let me know what you learned today. What is something that you took away? And what do you ultimately need help Above that, again, refer to the description for this to get started. This is the best way to get a hold of me when a lot of people ask that instead of just emailing because we can go back and forth the whole day and I can't spend time doing that. This allows me to evaluate and analyze your best funding options and options and it's personalized and customized. So you get the best of, best of both worlds and it'll be very helpful for you to go through. Uh, if you did find value out of it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who you feel will get value out of it. it can be a complete stranger, friends, and or family. If you have not subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. And click that bell notification icon so you do not miss any future videos I will be coming out with. That is everything for now. Talk to you soon.